She's in. It's here. I was supposed to get this, what, the 12th? And it's the 7th? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's see what we got here. What do we have here? A surprise? We got it from uh, KP Keystone, no, Keystone, Keystone Cycle Parts. Pennsylvania. Long a journey. He's got his own tape. He's legit. No. <laughs> what? Exactly what I wanted. Another box. Daytona. Oh yeah, baby. It's legit. That's what I wanted. I wanted to see that Daytona. Bells, wrist pin, clips, swings, ringy poos. What? You got a camp chain casket? Damn, Daytona. Damn, oh, what is this? A little trip. Ooh, ooh. Just plastic. About to say. About to say. We're looking good here. Looks like a fun giveaway. Let's see, I got a gasket right here. It's bigger for shiz than it is. For shiz my knees. Dude, I can't believe it says Daytona on it, bro. That's what makes me happy. I was like hella tripping because it said from Pitzer Pro. So I've been communicating with the Ridernomics. They've been talking to me. Uh, they wanted me to send them a bunch of info, so we'll see what happens here. I'm kind of hopeful. Honestly, I'm kind of hopeful. Um, 16 hours, man. I'm a piston. And cylinder, it seems kind of, you know, something along there. With everything running pretty great, too. Bore up kit, 212 and 190F. Let's go. More Japanese stuff. I love it. Okay, so what is this? What's the pistons in it? Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't like that at all. She's just bucking in there. She's bucking. She's ready to get out. She's trying to hop up out of this room. Okay, so this is what I gotta check because I don't know if this will work with the FE version, right? Whoa, it comes with the chinga dinghies. Ooh. Okay, so. Ooh. This little okay, so get that fucking thing out of there, dude. I do not like that in there, not at all. Ooh, that looks cool. All right, all right. I want to say the cylinder has a little you no, know, it's a little dirtiness. I don't know. It's got okay, cross hatching, I guess. Is it just dirt? Yeah, it looks good. So, you see this, like, hey. Okay. I can't do previews. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, you see like this little bit of gooey or whatever this is. You see that right there? That. Okay, you know what that is? Okay, so that is right here, the plating. So they plate these cylinders. That's what failed in mine last time. This looks crispy. It's not too bad. Yeah, it looks like that's where the insert is. I feel like this thing can even get bigger. Oh, Pistone. Yeller. Anima. 212, baby. I like this little side skirt thing. It's a little, little, a little marred. I mean, there's a scratch right there. 
There's a scratch right there. I don't like that kind of shit. Makes me mad. But anyways, whatever. We're gonna document this here. I'm gonna chop it up though. Long journey. You know what I'm saying? This guy's been on a long journey. bag. I wish I could see the preview of this because yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, it's cool. I ain't tripping really. This is an anima. She's gonna be an anima. I'll deck this. It's got a little bit of cocky poo. Yeah, and then this is my only other concern is like this area right here. Like, what is that? I'm having flashbacks, yo. No. That one looks pretty good. Get this thing wiped out. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It might be just cacas, you know. Daddy's gonna WD forty this B. The block okay, so let's get let's get the blown the blown girl. The girl that blew up. Pistone This over here is good stuff. All right, here we go. So we got my head that I've been porting around with. Not quite done yet. Still gotta do some more, but I mean, I did some work on this bad boy. Um, okay, so this is what I've learned a little bit. So see how the, the intakes go down and it goes like that, right? So if you look at that, that area right there is the floor. Anything below this right here is pretty much dead airspace. So the goal is, is what you wanna do is you wanna knock that pump out to make it more of a smooth, straight shot transition. So I, I, I did do a little work up here and before I really realized it doesn't mean anything. So this fin is kind of rounded. I gotta polish it. I'm not gonna polish this one. I'm gonna rough this one up a little bit. Finish, just clean it up, get it good. That's the intake, right? The exhaust, I basically got rid of this super hard turn right here. You had a super hard churn. Let's see if you look like right up in there. Super hard churn. Kind of getting rid of it, op oval it out a little bit. Basically, all that really matters is the seat transition to in there, right? So you want to make sure that's a smooth transition from the seat into the bowl, okay? Then you want to make sure that that hump in there, you just want to knock that upper part out. You want it to be as straight into the port as possible. So this was be straight and straight. You know what I mean? So I got this one pretty good. I need to hump a little, get a little bit more out on this one and a little bit more out in this one and then just kind of tidy it up. I'll redeck it again. I did deck and polish this. Um, and then basically what I did is I took my, I have these sander pads that, that like polish on my grinder and I just hit these face of the fins. So the fins are gonna be like polished. I gotta hit this little Z one, but I think it's gonna be sick. I like it. It's gonna look good. It's gonna look different for sure. So I got that going on. So I have the valves. The valves are all right here. I was gonna polish them, but I don't have time now because I got I have it already. So I'm just gonna clean up the carbon. They're soaking in a little bit of a uh, degreaser stuff. It's it's kind of like oil. Anyway, so here's the old cylinder and piston. This thing blew me away. So I want to take it back. I didn't upload a video and say something. I might have not took it down, but I said that these were cracks right here. They're not. They're actually just the glue that they put. They use the, um, not glue, but the gasket material. Anyways. Yeah, that's bigger for shizzle than it is. Not that much bigger, but it's bigger. Anyways, check this bad boy out. Look at that cylinder, yo. I cannot believe that. It's so crazy. It's like cracks all the way through it. And see, you see lots of blemishes on this freaking, on this freaking, um, on this, what do you want to call it? Cylinder. You see, I see lots of blemishes. 
So here's the cutout I think is for the starter. Yeah, that makes perfectly sense. So here's the cutout, right? I think this has it. Okay, so you got cam chain on this side, right? So this would be considered the bottom right, right here. No, it doesn't. Okay, so this is where I got to cut, which is easy. It's nothing, dude. I can do that. That's literally hacksaw blade sideways, hacksaw blade up, done, skis. So what I'll do is I'll get some mic readings on the mic. See, see, see this? Okay, this is what it tells me to. Like, you see the electroplating all up the side of this? Like, where is this electroplating? It stops short. That's the problem right off the bat, right there. See that? I mean, not that it probably really means anything, but I just think this is a super light, crappy coating. It looks good. Look, dude, the piston looks brand freaking new on the other side. Look at that, right? And you pull this bad boy out. Tight fit in two. Easy. Easy. Wong Chu. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, look at the skirt. It's scratched up for sure as well. Okay. Oh, I got it out. Okay, piston's out, right? Size comparison. Okay. Now look at this. This cylinder. It looks cool for the first two seconds and then it goes crazy. Yeah, I don't know what that is right there. Like, it's like... I hope you guys can see this. I hope my camera's game was good. Anyways, it's just pretty bad. I bet you a hundred bucks so I could probably get this re-sleeved and like, there's even a chip right there, re-sleeved and you know, it'd be good. So here's like a size comparison. It's just a smidge big, smidge bigger. It's really hard to see. So first things first, I'm gonna get this, the head put all back together and then I'll take this, I'll completely soap and wash it, clean it all out really, really well. Get ready to put that in and I'll take some measurements as far as this goes for the cut depth and everything like that Anyways, look, yeah, see, I mean this is that's a negotiable You know what I mean? Like if you really wanted to you could probably put that motor back in and be all right with it If you really want it if you if you had to how about that you had to I'm not gonna I wonder if this had the top that was the same color as this one but look at those skirts though. It's got the skirt protector 7.0s. Those things are sexy. Okay. Cool beans. All right. I'll catch you guys back on the later one. I'm going to try a time lapse when I do the valves maybe. Or maybe not. I don't know. But here's piston one, piston two. Let's go. I didn't like that it was in the cylinder like that though. Fuck. I really wish they wouldn't have did that. <laughs> I really wish they wouldn't have did that. Hmm. What do I do? Install it? I'll document everything. I don't see any chips or anything. I definitely want to say the electroplating looks better on this though, for sure. Yeah, because it's going up. Yeah, this is bubbly. So this is the way it goes. Cam chain is pointing down. I'll take this gasket off too. That thing's not too bad. Okay, here we go. So exhaust valve's gonna be, you can't change the top, exhaust valve goes this way. Let me just sneak these bad boys in there. All right, all right. Heck yeah, dude, this is gonna be up and running tomorrow, baby. I gotta check some uh, measurements though on the valve train. Just make sure everything's within spec here. Daytona wanted to ask a couple questions. I answered in long form, really, really good. It came out nice. Like, I'm really hopeful with this, man. And if not, wait, whatever, no big deal. But, you know, basically, the guys at Rideonomics was like, Thanks for being patient. We're communicating with Japan. They are requesting information regarding your engine you have purchased. Please input information in the following columns. After we receive the information, we'll continue our conversation with Japan. We are also asking if we could special order a 212 big board for you. Boom. So I gave them all the info. How many hours? All the stuff that they wanted to know. Customization here is with oil cooler, without oil temperature, you know, all that stuff. I gave her, gave them an excellent freaking, I broke it down, bro. I broke it down everything temps all that stuff so we'll see what happens i'm just um i'm, I'm glad that, that they reached out to me you know even i know I, I totally understand no warranty no warranties no warranty but hey you know for me that just feels that just mm, i don't know man 16 hours on the motor and the thing is it never blew up you know what i mean it ran great fucking great and it's like crazy that it ran great like that you know so hey 
I don't know, man. I just ended up tearing it down for the portent and found that. Got lucky. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? All right. Crom clone out. Detona. How do I do this? Don't forget to like and subscribe.